One of the most embarrassing scandals to hit the San Francisco Police Department in years is growing tonight. At least 10 additional officers, including a captain, are under investigation for possibly sending racist and homophobic texts. Now, the new allegations follow a federal court filing that revealed five current and former police officers were texting those homophobic jokes and statements, texts supporting white power and even suggesting that blacks should be spayed. Now, Phil Mateer joins us now with the fallout from all this. This shocks a lot of people. Phil. It does. It does. Now, those officers, at least the latest ones, have been taken off the street and they're facing possible firing. And while the severity of the text linked to the 10 new officers is still under investigation, they say it's not as bad as the earlier ones. The scandal is already affecting the department from top to bottom. Okay, it, it does appear that there's more officers uh, and more of my members involved in this because they have come to the POA seeking representation. That admission from the San Francisco Police Officers Association is the first hard evidence that the tech scandal is growing, confirming a day's worth of heated speculation even among members of the force. And we've told there may be as many as 15. Now I'm hearing there may be more people. But while we wait to learn just how many more officers could be involved, the Police Officers Association is making its own move with this video. I am Officer Albert Johnson. I am Sergeant Tracy McRae. And we are part of the most diverse police department in the world. No importa su etnicidad o orientación sexual. We are not about uh, these disgraceful messages that come from a, a, an extremely small faction of our department. We're talking less than 0.2% members involved. As for the four officers already implicated, the San Francisco public defender is already looking at convictions that may have to be thrown out. We estimate that there will be as many as a thousand cases uh, that will have to be reviewed. The district attorney has also joined in the review of those cases, just as the police department moves to question more officers. And no matter what turns up in the coming days, Everyone is promising swift justice for any officers who cross the line. I believe we're all on the same page that we find this appalling and unacceptable, and we're not going to tolerate it. Question is, what does the department do about this, and how far do they look? And Ken, I'm going to tell you that one of the issues at stake right now is how the department handles this investigation. Sure. In light of Ferguson and in light of New York, it's, is the public is as much interested in what the police do or don't do well, in the next hey, couple of months, I think what's as anything else. What's interesting about this case is, is you're right. We'll see what Greg Sir does about this, the chief. But also, I think a lot of people were caught by surprise that San Francisco is an open city. Mm -hmm. It's tolerant mm -hmm. here. And, you know, right. this is not supposed to happen in good old SF. But hey, one of the officers, as a matter of fact, of the four mm -hmm. who are already facing firing charges for homophobic remarks is gay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So we don't we're diverse in everything. In our, in our yeah. bigotry. We do not. All right. Phil, well, thank, thank you. you.